I'm going to teach you about the jump statements in Java. So what are jump statements in Java? See the definition is jump statements are those statements which are used to transfer control from one set of statement to another statements elsewhere in the code. So they are mainly used to interrupt the statements, switch statements and the loops. So why do we need a jump statement? See we need a jump statement because when we are uh, executing a set of statements or executing a set of instructions, we want a part of the control to go somewhere else if a particular condition is uh, met or it is not met. It can be either way. So in those cases, we have to use the jump statements. And we have one special keyword known as the return, which is used in functions. I will be teaching you in detail about all these statements. So there are three types of jump statements break, continue and return. There is one more type which is known as label but we are not going to discuss that as we don't have that as a part of our syllabus here. So now we have the break statement in Java. The break statement is used in switch to end the case. This we have already discussed in our previous video. That is after a switch, a case, we use the break statement because once that particular case is the case and those statements following the case is finished we have to come out of that case we use the break so there also the break was used to exit from that particular case block the break statement can also be used in a loop that is your for loop your while loop or your do while loop so the definition goes here the break statement in java is to jump the statement which is uh, is a jump statement which is used to immediately exit from the loop so, to come out of the loop, we can use this jump statement break, okay. And when the moment the break keyword is used, it just exits from the block and does not continue with the rest of the statement which may be present in the block, okay. Now, we will see a simple program in uh, which is going to illustrate this. OJ editor. Now, let us look at a simple example for our break keyword a break statement okay so here i am having a class which is called as break statement and here i have a for loop for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to 10 and if i equal to equal to 5 i am just using the word break here to illustrate this and then i am printing the value of i so here down if you see here i have uh, just shown you how the loop works the for loop works so first it is going to say for i equal to 1 i less than equal to 10, i equal to equal to 5, it is going to break, okay, and then it is going to print i and then we have i plus plus, okay, this has to come here. So, here when i is equal to 1, we have 1 less than equal to 10 and if 1, is, it is going to come here and check if 1 is equal to equal to 5. So, 1 is not equal to 5, it is a simple if, so it will come here and it is just going to print 1. Okay, so in the next step, it is going to i plus plus, and then it is i will now become 2, 2 is equal to equal to 5, it is false again, and next it is going to print 2. Next time it is going to print 3, and then it is going to print 4, and when i will become 5, 5 is equal to equal to 5, that is true, isn't it? So that time it is going to break. So what it happens is there is a for loop here, so it comes out of this for loop. And after the for loop, what is the first statement we have? We have one statement here, break. So that will be printed after flow. Okay, this is the explanation of this program. Okay, now what we will do is we will just compile this code. There is no errors. So now we will just run the program. So when we run this program, you can see here, you get this value 1, 2, 3, 4 and there is no file. It just comes out of the block. So this is how our let us look at the continuous statement in Java. So the definition says the continuous statement is that statement or that keyword which will stop the current iteration of the loop and transfer the control to the next iteration of the loop. That means inside the loop when a continue keyword is found, it is not going to continue with that iteration or with that condition. Okay, it will stop that condition and the statements after that condition and it will go to the next part of the loop. It will uh, iterate that loop in the next whatever is the update expression that is available either the increment or the decrement operator. There it is going the control will be passed to that 
part of that loop and then it is going to continue with the rest of the loop. Whereas in break it will exit from the loop, it will completely come out of the loop. Here it will only exit from that part and it will continue with the rest of the statements. So that's what the continue will do. So we will see this uh, with, the example, with the example in our LoJ editor. Now let us look at the example for continuous statement. So here I have this code for continuous statement. It's the same code as your break. So here also it's going to be i equal to 1, i less than 10. And then it is going to come here and do this set of statements. And the last part is i++. plus plus. The detailed explanation of for loop I have given in one more video. For and nested for. Please watch that. Okay. Now come to this statement. i is equal to 1. 1 is equal to equal to 5 it is false so it is not going to do anything with the continue but it will come and print the value of 1. Next it is going to i++. plus plus. So next it is going to print 2, it will print 3, it will print 4 and when i will become equal to 5, see earlier I told in break when you get a break it is going to continue but in uh, break it is going to come out of the loop but here when this continue is going to come the definition says it will skip this iteration and go to the next iteration. That means it is not going to do this particular set of statements. Instead here, I will become now equal to 6. 5 plus 1, 6. So it will start printing 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and it will print whatever is there after the, uh, it will just come out of this for loop. Okay. So just we will see the, we will compile the program and then we will see the output. Okay, so if you see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So 5 is not there because it has skipped the iteration. Hope you understood the example for continuous statement. Now we will go and look at the written uh, keyword. Let us look at the written statement in Java. The written statement is another type of jump statement which is mainly used in functions. So the, uh, there is a question which is commonly asked in your board exam, what is the use of written, function, uh, written uh, statement? So the written keyword or written statement is used to return a value to the calling function. And the second use of written is to exit from the function completely. That means if you want to come out of the function, you need a way of coming out of the function. So we can use the return keyword. So we will see the examples for this in our BlueJ editor and I will explain in detail about functions in my coming video series. Okay, let us now go to the BlueJ editor and see how the return statement works. Now let us look at an example for the return statement. So if you observe here, I have got a function called as add and here I have written one statement return 3 plus 4. That means it is going to return this value 7. So as I told you return keyword has two uses. One to return a value to the calling function. So here which function is calling this function. So if you go to the main function we have declared an object ob and we have declared a variable z and we have assigned this particular function value to this z. So we say here ob dot add. So what is happening? There is this function is being called here. So this main function is your calling function and add is your called function. So the control passes from ob dot add to here and it is getting this value 7 and this value is stored in z here and I am going to display this value of z here. So it is actually going to display 7. So the two uses of return is it returns a value to this calling function that is main and the second value of return is to exit from this function. Suppose if I commented this function then there is no, there is no way I can come out of this add function. Isn't it? So there are the two value, uh, two uses of return statement. Now I will compile this. Okay. Let me compile it and close it and let me put here as um, void main. So you can see this is the answer. 
Hope you understood this video. This question uh, will be asked in two marks. They may ask you to explain the break, continue, or written statement for two marks. Like what is the use of the written statement? What is the difference between break and continue in a loop? Uh, these are some of the co common two marks questions. And even in the analysis of loops, this break, continue, and all will be asked. So you should be aware of this definition as well as its application. Hope you like this video. If you like, please share and subscribe.